Hi guys, it's Gabby. Today I am going to be filming the 32 random questions tag. I'm so excited for this video and I know I say that every single time, but I just love making YouTube videos, but definitely tags and Q&As and hauls and fashion videos are definitely up there on my favorite videos that I love to film. I may or may not have already filmed this video because I've been around on YouTube for a while and I remember like back then I used to film every tag video that I could because I was like obsessed and I guess I still am. Um, so I'm not really sure if I filmed this video or not. Um, but anyways, today we are going to be answering a lot of questions. There is a total of 32, but don't worry, I'm going to go through each question kind of faster because they're kind of generic, simple questions. And I thought this would be really, really fun to do. Maybe so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get on to this video. Question number one is, do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? Now, as you can tell, I actually don't have doors to my closet I used to um, my doors used to be mirrors but I took them out and I got rid of them because I didn't like that I couldn't see everything like you know when you have doors like everything in the center kind of gets cut off um, so I replaced it with curtains but I do sleep with them closed sometimes they're open I mean I don't really mind only because my closet is very organized so it's not really scary to look at if that makes sense um, but yeah so usually nine times out of ten I would say that I keep my closet curtains closed <laughs> Question number two is, do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? I think when I was younger, I used to do this just like for the heck of it. Um, but now that I'm older, I don't do that only because usually they are really bad and they suck. And I just rather use my shampoo and conditioner. Also, they don't give you any. So even if you wanted to use some, it's like literally this amount of shampoo and conditioner. And like, what am I going to use that for? Like the tips of my hair? I don't know. So no, I don't take them. Question number three is, do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Um, I don't know how to answer this. Um, I just have like the regular sheets and I have my comforter. I don't have like that sheet that goes in between them. So I guess I can't really answer this, but I guess I just sleep with everything out. I mean, then I just fix it all when I'm done sleeping. Question number four is, have you ever stolen a street sign? I think this is so funny because for some reason this happens to be so common. I feel like we always see this in movies, but who actually steals street signs? Like, I don't, what would be the point of that? Like, I don't really get that. I don't know. I've never done it. I don't really care to do it. Like, I'm sure they sell them on Amazon. Like, just buy it. <laughs> Why do you want like a dirty, crusty street sign that has so many germs on them no thank you question number five is do you cut out coupons and then never use them honestly i never come into contact with like real coupons i know sometimes i'll get like pink and like bath and body works and my mom will give them to me if i need to use them but usually most of my coupons that i get are all online through like apps and like honey and stuff like that um but yeah no i never really get coupons like physically but in my computer i do <laughs> Question number six, this is literally so random. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? Honestly, neither. That's both sound terrible, but I feel like the logical one to pick would be the bees because I feel like a bear would literally kill you. Um, so I guess I would rather be, you know, chased by bees, but like literally they will all sting me. So that would suck. Um, but definitely the bees. Question number seven is, do you always smile for pictures? Yes, if you go on my Instagram, it'll be linked down below um, along with all of my other social media. I smile in literally all of my pictures. It's so rare that I'll have a picture of me doing like a duck face or a straight face. It's definitely on there, uh, maybe more on my story than on my actual feed. Um, but I'm usually always smiling because I don't think I look good with a straight face. I mean, I just look mean. So I'm like, I like my smile. Um, I think I have pretty nice teeth. That's actually one of my favorite things about me, even though I'm insecure about one of them because I cracked it or chipped it, my bad, like a bunch of times. So it's like not right. Um, but yeah, but other than that, I'm always smiling in my picture. Question number eight is, do you count the steps when you walk? Honestly, I I do sometimes. I remember specifically, I don't know why this just like came to mind, um, but I remember in elementary school, I had like a lot of stairs. And so I remember I would always count. I think it was like around 60. I don't know, honestly, but I remember in school, I would always count the steps. But like now I don't really sometimes on the sidewalk, but like when do I ever walk? I don't know. But yeah, I've done it before, but like, I don't think I ever do that now. Question number nine is, have you ever peed in the woods? Not the woods, but I have peed outside once. 
I can't remember if it was once or twice. Twice, I lied, twice. I feed outside twice. The first time I was coming back from New York and I literally had no access to a bathroom, like with my friends, like it was bad. Like we all had to pee so bad and we literally could not get to a bathroom. So we all peed outside. And then the second time, um, I was with my friends as well, but that one was just like stupid and weird. I'm not gonna tell the story, but I've done it twice. <laughs> Question number 10 is, do you still watch cartoons? No, I literally can't even remember the last time that I have watched cartoons, but I am that type of person though to like rewatch old shows. So because I have Disney Plus, I rewatched like Hannah Montana, like literally all of those shows. But one show in particular that I have been dying to get a hold of and rewatch is Max and Ruby. Um, but I literally don't know how to watch that because I don't even know what program that's on, but I loved that show. And like, there was another one too. Was it like, wow, 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 whoopsie. Oh my God. Do you guys remember that? Yo. Okay. So there are so many cartoons that I would love to rewatch, but like, I don't know how to get to that. Um, but currently I don't watch any, um, I just kind of watch regular TV with real people and not cartoons. Question number 11 is where would you buy hidden treasure if you had some? Wow, this tag was not joking. These questions are literally so random, but I love it. Um, I honestly thought about this and I don't know where I would hide it because at first I thought, okay, I'll hide it out in public because you wouldn't think to hide it there, but then someone would find it or like someone would see you hiding it. And then I can't hide it in my house because it's obvious that it would be there. And I feel like a lot of people know now that people back in the day used to hide treasure like in their backyard or like in your their walls and furniture and stuff so I honestly wouldn't even know where to hide it I think I would just be terrible at that <laughs> question number 12 is what do you drink with your dinner I literally am, am always drinking water whether it's with my dinner or not like whatever it is a snack lunch I don't know I have always been the type of person to only enjoy water even as a kid I never liked juices or like punches or Capri Suns or anything out of a box like car none of that I never liked milk even to this day I don't like milk or or juices or coffee or like fraps or like anything like that I just love my water I do like coke that's like the only other thing like only other drink that I like um so usually I'll get water at a restaurant I'll get coke um but unless they have like bottled water they don't have water but if they only have tap then I'll have coke yeah so I'm weird I'm just always drinking water Question number 13 is what do you dip a chicken nugget in? Okay, now this depends where the chicken nugget is from because I like different sauces at different places. So if we're talking like generically, ketchup. But if we're talking McDonald's sweet and sour sauce, if we're talking Wendy's ketchup because their sweet and sour sauce tastes really, really weird. And if we're talking Chick-fil-A, then the Chick-fil-A sauce or ketchup. But usually it's ketchup, but like McDonald's would be sweet and sour and Chick-fil-A is Chick-fil-A sauce because that's the like the sauce that they make the best. So I'll usually have like whatever sauce that particular fast food place makes the best because they'd be making some weird stuff. I don't know. Question number 14 is what movies could you watch over and over again and still love? Honestly, I am not the type of person to rewatch movies. I never have. Once I watch a movie once, that's kind of just it. I've watched it. I know what happened. Um, there are some movies that I've watched many times like Mean Girls and Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect, those are the only two movies that I can think of that I've rewatched many times, and that's only because they are classic. Um, but aside from that, I, even if I loved a movie, I don't think that I would rewatch it again unless I wanted to show someone and they didn't watch it. But that's usually very rare because I don't like to repeat movies. Question number 15 is Were you ever a Girl Scout? I actually love this question because it brought back so many memories. I was a Girl Scout. I started when I was a brownie, though. No, I lied. When I was a junior, oh, I started really late in the game, but it's okay. I loved being a Girl Scout. My mom was actually one of the leaders. I remember all the activities, all of the Girl Scout, you know, cookie selling and a Camp Hoover and all of that. I had a blast. I will never forget those. I have pictures and it was definitely an amazing time, even though I was only doing it for about four years. I was a junior and a cadet. I didn't get to be a brownie and like whatever's before that, a daisy. Oh, look at me. I know my stuff um but yeah I will definitely put my future kid daughter whatever in Girl Scout Boy Scouts because my brother did it too and it was literally like the best times ever 
Question number 16 is, would you ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? This is actually a really good question that I've actually thought about and I'll tell you why. So right now I'm obviously in college studying to become a teacher, but that is not like my ultimate goal in life. My ultimate dream in life is to, I don't want to say an influencer because no, I want to be known for creating real fashion, real accessories real accessories and not like designer or luxury maybe yes but like affordable good quality clothes and not just a shirt with my name on it like real fashion like interior design like perfume like literally everything you can think of that's what I want to be known for that's what I want to do um and so when it comes to magazines like that's where you get to show like your real fashion and statement pieces and so i think i would do it but to a certain extent not completely nude but like maybe a little bit because there are a lot of poses and a lot of great photographers that can just make amazing pictures with like you know lighting and stuff like that so i think it would depend what it was question number 17 is can you change the oil in your car no i can't i don't know how to do anything car related i know how to like take it to the gas station and get it the gas put in i mean i live in new jersey so we don't pump our own gas thank god i mean who like who would want to get out of their car to go and pay for it like i cannot believe that there are states that actually do that i just feel like why like i don't get it like it just it can create literally so many job opportunities i don't know um but yeah so i don't know how to do anything car related so Question number 18 is, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? I have actually only ever gotten pulled over once. Did you guys see that? I don't know what that was. I've gotten pulled over once, so I'm 19, about to be 20. And I, sorry, there's like things flying around. It's like the light, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've been driving since I was 17, technically 16, you know, permit or whatever. Um, I'm about to be 20 and I've only ever gotten pulled over once. And that is only because it was so late and I was trying to get home because I was so tired and just wanted to go to bed and just, get home that i was literally doing like 85 and like a 35 mile zone don't worry it was so late there was literally no cars it was so dark um i i know i shouldn't have been doing that but like i just wanted to get home and of course i passed by a cop when i was like the only person on the road um i did get pulled over but i did not get a speeding ticket um i've actually never gotten a parking ticket or anything like that i'm sorry I'm so sorry to, if I, I don't want to offend anyone, but I think you have to be really dumb to get a parking ticket. Like I genuinely do not understand how people get parking tickets. Like do not read the sign and look where you're parking before you park. Like I don't get it. Like you're literally asking for it. Oh, whatever. But yeah, I've never gotten a ticket. Knock on wood. Question number 19 is, are you afraid of heights? Um, I would say yes, kind of, but like it's not one of my biggest fears. Um, my biggest fear is veins everyone knows that um i guess i don't mind heights but unless it's like super super high up i think i'm fine as long as i like know that i'm not gonna fall but like if i'm doing some like something crazy then i guess i would be afraid um but i would say overall no um but yes kind of question number 20 is do you sing in the car honestly no not really I think sometimes I'll catch myself like singing TikTok songs in my head or whatever song played at the moment. It'll repeat in my head and I'll sing it kind of quickly. But I never actually sing sing because I know that I can't and I just like to not talk all the time. Like, do you guys ever like, you know, I'm always talking in class and like with my parents and with my friends and on FaceTime. And like when I make videos that like when I'm by myself, I kind of just like to shut up <laughs> but i definitely do talk to myself but i don't think i necessarily sing all the time question number 21 is christmas stressful i think this is so sad because i remember my mom always saying this a lot of people get so stressed around the holidays and i get it like i completely understand why but i feel so zen and i don't know maybe it's because i'm younger and like don't have any responsibilities technically but i feel like even if i did it wouldn't be all that like this is the time to just eat good food and just be in the presence of family and friends i feel like a lot of people always get so worried oh my god i gotta get a gift for everyone i'm honestly that type of person i am not i don't get anybody gifts unless you are like this to me maybe i'll get you a little something but like no, you don't need to be getting a gift for ev for your grandma's uncle's like friend like guys like 
I feel like everyone always does that and like I used to be that person I used to be that person where it's like I gotta get a gift for every single person because I don't want to leave anyone out like it's Christmas like I have to get everyone everything but then I realized like half of the time they don't get you gifts back or like you know it's just like it's so much money and that can be stressful but like now that I'm older I don't need to get gifts for everyone maybe a card maybe something handmade whatever but in the future it might be different but like i really just try not to get stressful because this is my favorite time of year question number 22 i love this word that they used occupations you wanted to be when you were a kid i'm pretty sure that means like things you wanted to be when you were younger um i've literally always wanted to be a teacher i remember when i was like three or four my mom said i wanted to be a ballerina but like Aside from that, that's obviously a joke. I've always wanted to be a teacher. So literally there was nothing else. I've never even like considered things. I mean, I've thought about other things that I wanted to be, but it never went further than just like a thought. Like I just always knew that I wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> Question number 23 is, do you believe in ghosts? I've never been encountered with a ghost or like a spirit. I've never had anything paranormal happen to me, at least not that I can remember, but I definitely believe in them because um i just believe that there are there's there are things out there i mean you're telling me that every single person that's encountered a spirit or a ghost is lying like i doubt it i don't think that ghosts are what we think that they are like they're not just like white creatures that like go around but i definitely believe in like spirits and like shadows and stuff like that i don't know but yes question number 24 is what is the first concert you ever went to Justin Bieber, this is literally so iconic. My first concert was Justin Bieber. It was the Believe Tour. Was it the Believe Tour? Yes. Oh my god, that was one of the best concerts I've ever been to. I mean, I've only ever been to three. Justin Bieber was the first, Taylor Swift was the second, and Ariana Grande was the third. They were all so amazing in their own individual way. But JB was the first. I think I was in like sixth, seventh grade when I went. I went with my little cousin Sophia. I'm pretty sure she still remembers. Um, it was iconic. I have such bad quality videos on like my iPhone 4. Um, and yeah, it was a good time. Question number 25 is Walmart or Target? I am a Target girl. I love Target. Don't get me wrong, I've been to both they both have great things they're technically the same walmart i believe is a lot cheaper um but i definitely go to target more because i feel like they have more better like better quality things like i feel like whenever i go to walmart i'm not gonna find cute purses and cute clothes like i would in target um if that makes sense but aside from like toiletries and like food and all that stuff they have like the same things but i'm just talking like overall, I would prefer to go to a Target. Question number 26 is Nike or Adidas. Honestly, I don't even know. I like them both. Um, I feel like this is like, is this the one where people are always checks over stripes? Is Adidas striped? Yeah, Adidas is stripes. Okay, I had to like think about it for a second. Um, yeah, I have a bunch of Nike stuff. I have a bunch of Adidas stuff, sneakers, clothes, everything. Um, I don't, I couldn't even tell you which ones I like better. Um, I think they're both great. I mean, I'm not like a sports head or a sneakers head, so I could tell you the quality or like i don't know the sneaker comfort i just kind of wear whatever's cute and whatever's like good and makes me feel good um so i think that they're both great in their own way question number 27 sorry i couldn't get the question out for a second um is can you curl your tongue yes i can oh my god i haven't done this in literally so long it's so weird like people actually can't do that i think it's my dad that can't do it or maybe it's my mom no it's my dad my dad can't curl his tongue it's so weird like and apparently there's people that could do it the other way, like, like the other way. I saw it on TikTok and I was like, oh, I didn't even know that was possible. Um, but yeah, so I can curl my tongue. <laughs> I did it wrong the first time. Question number 28 is, have you ever cried because you were so happy? Honestly, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not a crier. I, I'm i not that person that can just cry over every single movie or cry over everything. I don't think that I'm a very sensitive person. Don't get me wrong, I definitely cry. Like if a movie is genuinely really, really sad, I will cry or something really bad happens to me, I will cry. Um, but I don't think I would, I don't think, you know, it's already hard for me to cry in, like with sad things or some sad things that I don't think I would ever cry if I was happy. Um, yeah so there's that <laughs> question number 29 is what was the last concert you saw i actually already answered this because i don't know how to stop talking but the last concert i saw was ariana grande 
I've been in a pandemic or I'm sorry, we've been in a pandemic for quite some time now. So obviously concerts are a no, no. Um, I've only ever been to three, like I said, so I don't go to them often, but maybe I would have, um, I don't know, but I would like to see someone else in concert. I don't know who, to be honest, because I only like to see people that I actually know all their songs to, like literally Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber. I know every single one of their songs. Taylor Swift, no, but Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, yes, because I'm. they're my favorite singers, literally of all time. They have always been. Question number 30 is, can you swim well? Um, yes, I can. Um, my dad taught me how to swim from a very, very, very young age. He taught me how to hold my breath, how to float, like literally all all of that and then afterwards I was put into swimming classes but they weren't like classes on how to swim that was my brother my brother had to go to classes you both went to the YMCA um the swimming portion um he it was his classes were more so how to swim because he just doesn't listen but me it was more so technique so I learned how to do all this the swimming strokes you know what is it called butterfly breaststroke uh what's this one? Oh my god that's like the most common one I can't think of it right now. I'm like having a moment. Um, but yeah, so I am, I can, I have not swam like in a bit, but I used to hold my breath for such a long time. I could swim from like one side of the pool to the other, like without holding my breath and I can like gracefully swim and I'm fast. I think that me and my dad had a race and my dad is like very fit. He does a lot of sports and I think we were like tied. Um, but yeah, I'm a pretty good swimmer if I do say so myself. Question number 31 is, do you know how to knit? Um, no, but I think it would be really cool to know how to. My cousin knows how to sew and do all of that. Um, because I love design and fashion, I feel like it would be really cool to know how to like design my own clothes. And I definitely know how to like do DIY stuff, but in terms of like actually putting pieces together, knitting them, sewing them, all of that, I don't know how to. Maybe I can learn, but it seems really hard and complicated. And the last question of this tag is, are you a dog or cat person? I'm definitely a dog person. I'm so sorry to offend anyone that loves cats or prefers cats I literally cannot stand cats I I'm sorry I don't hate them but like I really strongly dislike cats I don't know why you would ever want that as a pet I just look at cats and they're literally like just there like why would you want a pet that just like is there like they don't like to be touched or held and I'm sure some of them do but like bleh, I don't know I just can't I'm sorry I'm sorry, I just really, really don't like cats. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I had so much fun filming this 32 random questions tag video. They were definitely random questions. I, this is the first time I looked at them and actually answered them, so it was really fun to film. Give this video a really big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below what you thought about it and maybe some future video ideas, some questions you have for maybe a future Q&A. And also, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!